Um, I haven't had it where it's affected their chance at matching or landing an interview, but I do, um, most of the time I'll go and look to see if I can find a face to put with the name because I'm like, okay, I remember XYZ, but I want to remember their face. Um, and so sometimes I'll do that. Um, but yeah, we've, we've been known to take a look just to see, but we haven't seen anything that was um, concerning enough yet to, to make us not offer the interview. You know, when you're doing recruiting, you're, you meet a lot of people. And that's why I like to kind of go back and look at faces for social media. But I will say a negative impression lasts way longer than the positive impressions. And so I think that's something that you should impart on your fellow students, your fellow, your colleagues um, to leave a positive impression everywhere that you go. Yes. And yes. The only time you really get to see who the candidate is, is in the letter. And so if they're on social media in some form or fashion, I'm going to try to look at that person, try to get a better idea of who they are. Both. So there, there were there were times where we looked up somebody and um, like we got a better idea of who they were and they had like, I think somebody had like a really impassioned speech about something that had happened at their pharmacy and we we're like, oh wow, you know, they really care about, you know, what they're doing. You know, and then somebody else had had been making like music videos or something like that, and um, like the overall tone of the you know Facebook entry or Instagram or whatever, um, you know, really it seemed like they they didn't have like the right priorities in life at that point <laughs> in time. Absolutely. We, we go social media stock if we can. Uh, some people are smarter than others and put up, uh, you know, that you have limited access. But um, I mean, just like in any field, any field you look at, I bet there's a story of someone losing a job or losing an opportunity for a job based on something that they have posted on social media. So I would say be very guarded in anything that you put on social media. Um, especially negative. I mean, if you put post positive things, I, I, you know, we're going to look at it and go, okay, they're excited about this or they're focused on this. But um, I would just watch any negative comments that you make um, because those could ultimately, they could ultimately cost you an opportunity and you would hate for that to happen when you're just having a bad day. You know, just posted something when you were having a bad day. We have not typically done much social media searching um, until, um, well, I haven't. So I know that at times some of my pharmacists have done done some searching, but I wouldn't say that to this date it has made a huge impact on a candidate's uh, matching. Um, there have been times where we've searched social media trying to remember if the person applying is the person we spoke to. So I can't say we haven't ever looked. Um, having said that, when we've tried to find if it's the person that we've looked, we've seen some things that are like, oh, that may not be ideal if that's their Facebook cover. But, you know, I think what's most important is that candidates need to remember that everything that they put out there is public and can be usable. While we don't use it for residency matching, we do it for jobs. Um, we look at the, all of those different types of things as we're considering a candidate and the pharmacy community is very small. And so even if you were an intern somewhere, um, it's likely that there's probably two to three degrees of, of relationships between them and any residency program director. And so whether it's social media or how they behave or interact at different rotations, those matter uh, because those relationships um, transcends things and it, we are definitely a small enough community that we reach out and say hey you had this student what are your thoughts you know anything i need to know kind of thing so it's important to to begin that professional ability to put things in public and it doesn't mean that everything you have to put on social media has to be professional but you have to evaluate it from what would happen if someone in my professional world saw this and if the response is it's probably not a good idea then you probably shouldn't be posting it in a public forum.